development of reproductive and urinary system. The urogenital system develops from the intermediate mesoderm. Elevation of mesoderm, the urogenital ridge, consists of two parts, mesonephric ridge, which gives a rise to the urinary system, and gonadial ridge, which gives a rise to gonads and to dendrum, so to the genital system. So, on this picture, you can distinguish mesonephric ridge and gonadal ridge. Formation of kidney pass three stages. Pronephros, head kidney, mesonephros, intermediate, more advanced kidney, and meta nephros, permanent kidney. On this slide you can see first stages, pronephros, second stages, mesonephros and permanent kidney or metanephros. By the time while exists pronephros, mesonephros start to development. In this moment, pronephros degenerated. While degenerated mesonephros from the 28 days start development metanephros. So Pronephros. It consists of two parts of nephrotom, pronephric tubules and pronephric ducts. Nephrotom contains from 7 till 15 somites. Pronephric tubules degenerate in one week, but pronephric ducts left in the mesonephric ducts. So, on this picture you can see nephrogenic cord, nephrogenic cord, and pay attention on the atrophying nephrotons. It's a pronephros. Mesonephros. Mesonephros consists of middle part of nephrogenic cord. It includes mesonephric tubules and mesonephric ducts. What about mesonephric tubules? It divided into the inner end uh, which forms uh, renal capsule and outer and blind of meso mesonephric ducts. What about mesonephric ducts? The end which bind to cloaca. Mesonephric ducts include in their structure pronephric duct which left from the pronephros. So, on this picture you could good distinguish two parts, nephrogenic cords and mesonephric uh, ducts. So, mesonephros. If you want to see these cards, you can distinguish other picture and here good visible mesonephric tubules and firstly uh, distinguished nephrons and the last stages metanephros 
So metanephros be begins to uh, develop on the fifth week and exist forever. So the positions they rise gradually and after uh, development change their position. So metanephros consists of nephrons tubules which uh, develops from the nephrogenic mass and uh, I said you that uh, metanephros migrates by the position from the pelvis to abdomen as uh, fetus grows. So metanephros becomes functional in the second one half of pregnancy. So on this picture you can distinguish nephrogenic cord and left mesonephrogenic duct. Pay attention on the mesonephric blastema and atrophying pronephras and mesonephras. So, what about development of the permanent kidney? We should say about two important origin. First one, uteric bud. So, uteric bud is the end of mesonephric duct and from the uteric bud develops uter, renal pelvis and renal calyx. And the last one, collecting the tube. So, second one origin, metanephrogenic blastema. It looks like cap-shaped cells, uh, which uh, develops into the S-shaped tubule. From the S-shaped tubule appears bioncollective tubes, renal tubule and renal capsule. Renal capsule with a glomerulus, so blood vessels which uh, grows inside, perform renal corpuscle. Renal corpuscle and renal tubules together perform nephron. So on this slide you can distinguish two, these two origins, so mesonephric tubule and uteric bud, which develops and uh, appears first one renal pelvis, renal calyx and collecting tube. So on this slide you can uh, see derivatives of the uteric bud and mesonephric blastema. So uteric bud uh, include uh, collecting tubules and ducts, minor and major calyx and uterus. From the mesonephric blastema, for the sides, epithelial lining of uh, Bowman's capsule, proximal convoluted tubes, descending uh, thick limbs of loop of Ganli, thin limbs of loop of Ganli, ascending thick limbs of loop of Ganli, and the last one, distal convoluted tubules. And in the, uh, this picture, it's a good visible of this development. So, kidney is the end of its development, contains all the main structures. So, next very important creations, development of urinary bladder and urethra. So, here uh, you can compare male and female uh, urinary bladder and urethra. So, it uh, dense connected to development of cloaca. So, on four seventh week, uh, in cloaca appears urogenital septum, and this urogenital septum divided it on two urogenital sinuses and a rectal canal portion, anterior portion and posterior portion. Urogenital sinuses in the tone divided into three portions, 
upper, middle and lower. From the upper portion, um, origin urinary bladder in male and female system. From the middle portion, upper part of urethra and urethra. And lower portion, lower part of urethra and vestibule or vagina in female. So pay attention please that urinary bladder is formed from primitive urogenital sinuses and urethra is outgrowth of mesonephric duct. What about production of urine by fetus? So it's a mix with amniotic fluid. Uh, this fluid enters a uh, fetal interstitial tract where it's absorbed into the bloodstream. So from the bloodstream or to placenta we transfer metabolic waste of the mother. So pay attention, fetal kidneys are not necessary for exchange of weight products. Why? Because metabolic waste transferred via placenta. Do you remember that I said you that kidney change their place? So pay attention that kidney located uh, on the uh, early stages of development in the pelvis, so then it uh, rise, rise and uh, finally located in abdomen and covered by the suprarenal gland. So, not just kidney change their place, urethra uh, also changed their uh, place. Pay attention, uh, this one mesonephric ducts, so and urethric duct, but. So next one, pay attention, mesonephric duct and uh, urethric duct part developed and mesonephric duct left and appears ureter. So during this development appears trigon uh, on the urinary bladder. So this trigon of urinary bladder has different origin than other part of urinary bladder. During the de development of urinary system, there may be different animalities like a pelvic kidney, horseshoe kidney, supernumerary arteries, double ureters, and other one. For example, on this picture you can uh, compare polycystic kidney and healthy kidney. Now we can uh, discuss development of reproductive system. So, reproductive system gonads develops from a salomic epithelium in the mesenchymal tissue and primordial germ cells. So, if you remember, reproductive system develops from thickening of ventromedial surface of urogenital ridge, which form what? Yes, you are right, genital reach. So, development of reproductive system consists of two stages. First one, it's an undifferentiated stage, the equal for both um, sex. And second stages, different, uh, differentiated stages, different in male and female. So, in different stage, in different stage, in male develops from the mesonephric and wolfian ducts, and female develops from the paramesonephric and Müllerian duct. So, in gonadal ridge, superficial epithelium performs some over cords. And these cell codes 
transferred to the primary sex cord. In this stage, endoderm cells of yolk sac start proliferating and differentiate into the primordial germ cells. And on the sixth week occurs migration uh, to the primary sex cord. So, on this pic uh, picture, you can distinguish this one red cells which grows from the uh, yolk sac to the genital ridge. So, other picture for the uh, in different stages, large and round endoderm cells in the yolk sac. So, on this slide you can distinguish early differentiation male and female reproductive system. Pay attention please on the mesonephric duct. It left after the mesonephros, so uh, you can see atrophy of mesonephric nephrons. In both sides, pay attention also on the enlarge of the paramesometric duct, Muller duct, and uh, uh, good visible uh, uh, celomic epithelium, seeking celomic epithelium and gonadal cords. Between gonad uh, seeking of epithelium, you can distinguish primordial gem cells. So, what happens after that? Uh, looks on the development of testes. So, you remember that there are some uh, origin. First one, it's a primary sex cord. From the primary sex cord, uh, you can distinguish epithelial cells and different uh, and primordial gem cells which located between these cells. So, from the epithelial cells develop Sertoli cells, so sustentocytes, from the primordial gem cells spermatogonium and mesenchymal cells gives a rise interstitial cells. So, together they uh, perform testes. What about development of ovaries? The same primary sex cord which includes uh, uh, epithelium cells of a sex cord and uh, primordial gem cells. But this uh, um, cells uh, of sex cord perform primordial follicles and inside primordial follicles located primordial gem cells. So from the cells of cells cord develops uh, follicular cells from primordial gem cells of volume and also mesenchyme cells. What uh, appears from mesenchyme cells? Stroma of the ovary. So next stages after the development, testis and ovary descending of it. Why? Because embryo lengthen, because uh, of uh, gubernaculum, and uh, on the seven eight months appears scrotum, and the testis should uh, descend to the scrotum. So next stages. Male uh, development on the 20 uh, weeks, uh, you can distinguish lobules with seminiferous tubules and uh, uh, spermatogonium inside it. Uh, good visible straight seminiferous tubules, good visible red testes, and uh, then uh, you can uh, see mesonephric duct. What about paramesonephric duct? Paramesonephric duct in uh, testes derivatives, so it's degenerate. In female reproductive system, in opposite, uh, mesonephric duct atrophying, but paramesonephric uh, duct preserved. 
inside of organ you can distinguish uh, some primordial follicles with primary uh, germ cells inside and uh, other part of uh, gonadal uh, codes degenerate uh, also you can distinguish mesothelium of ovary which surround the this organ so on these stages uh, you can distinguish development of primordial gem cells on different stages of de uh, development so in development of reproductive tracts uh, we also can distinguish uh, sexually uh, in different duct system and uh, differentiated uh, sexually duct system so pay attention of these two sources like paramesonephric duct and mesonephric or vulvia. In this picture you can see difference between differentiation of male and female reproductive tract. So from the paramesonephric duct appears a fibria, oviduct, uterus, vaginal fornix. Mesonephric duct and tubules degenerate. In male reproductive system, metonephric duct gives a rise epididymal duct, ductus deferens, and aocularic duct. Mesonephric tubules mostly degenerate, but from the cranial part appears efferent ducts. Paramesonephric duct also may degenerate. So on this slide, you can see summary of male. Uh, urine and uh, uh, genital tract uh, derivatives. So, what appears from the uterine part, mesonephric ducts, and urogenital cyst sinuses. You can read on the slide. So on the next day slide, you can do the same with the female uh, urogenital tract derivatives. Uh, with the same uh, origins plus paramesonephrogenic ducts. And the last one, it's a development of external genital organ. So, uh, the most important part from which uh, develops uh, external uh, organs uh, includes genital tubercule, genital folds, and genital swelling. On this table, you can distinguish what uh, develops from each of these parts. During the development of reproductive system, there are a lot of different anomalies like uh, cryptorchidism, double uterus, vaginal uh, atresia, and other one. Next, next uh, several slides. Uh, it's a summary for the full information which we discussed. literature which you can read and which we use during the preparation of this presentation. Good luck! See you on the lesson!